50 miles from Montgomery. I had an aunt by the name of Sineva. And my aunt Sineva lived on what we call, lived in what we call a shotgun house. I know out here in California, you never seen a shotgun house. You don't even know what I'm talking about. So don't try to fool me. I, I was born in a shotgun house. My aunt Sineva didn't have a green manicure lawn like you have here in California. Chandler did God. In this old house, sometime at night, you can look up through the holes in the ceiling, through the holes in the terrific counter stars. When it rains, she would get a pail, a bucket, or a tub, and catch the rainwater. From time to time, she would walk into the woods and cut branches from a dogwood tree and tie these branches together and make a broom. And she would call that broom the breast broom. And she would sweep this dirt yard very clean. Especially on a Friday or Saturday because she wanted that dirt yard to look very good during the weekend. You know what a shotgun house is? But in a non-violent sense, a shotgun house, old house, one way in, one way out. But you can bounce a basketball through the front door and it will go straight out the back door. <laughs> my aunt Sydney would live in a shotgun house. But one Saturday afternoon, a group of my brothers and sisters and a few of my first cousins about 12 or 15 of us young children. I played in my house in the dead yard, and an unbelievable storm came up. The wind started blowing, the thunder started rolling, the lightning started flashing, and the rain started beating on the turf of the old shotgun house. Mother was terrified. She started crying. She thought this old house was going to blow away. She got all of us, the children, together and told us to hold hands, and we did as we were told. The wind continued to blow, the thunder continued to roll, the lightning continued to flash, and the rain continued to beat on the timber of this old shotgun house. And we cried, and we cried. And when one corner of this old house appeared to be lifted from its foundation, my aunt had us to walk to that corner to try to hold the house down with our body. When the other corner appeared to be lifted, she had us to walk to that spot. We were little children walking with the wind, but we never, ever left the house. It doesn't matter whether we're black or white, Latino, Asian American or Native American. We're one people, we're one family, we're one house. We all live in the same house. We're sisters and brothers, and don't let anyone tell you anything to just maybe our foremothers and our forefathers all came to this land in different ships. But we're all in the same boat now. We have to look out for each other, stand up for each other, support each other, and build a sense of one house, one community. I said to you, here in Southern California, here in this beautiful state, on this little piece of real estate, walk with the wind and let the spirit of freedom, liberty, and justice be your guide. Hang in there, keep your faith, and keep your eyes on the prize. Thank you very much. <laughs>